don't let them get one. And that's exactly what the Miami Heat just did. We might have a series on our hands here between the Heat and the Celtics. We should have known. There's been a lot of playoff history between these two teams lately. So no, Miami's not just going to roll over and die like so many people think that they're going to. Welcome back to Layup Lines, the NBA betting and recap show here on the Bandwagon Sports YouTube channel. I'm your host, Shoot the Rock. If you enjoy talking basketball almost daily, then this is a place for you. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, because that's what we're doing every day. I'm, I'm recapping the games, giving my picks, so let's get into it. We're going to start with last night's game. Like I mentioned to start, the Miami Heat. Surprising win, 111-101 to 101 over the Boston Celtics. Uh, franchise record, 23 three-pointers made. They shot 53% from beyond the arc, 23 in total. Tyler Hero was the was the big scorer on the night, 24 points from him, also 14 assists, so he was scoring, he was distributing, and he made six three-pointers, six of 11 from beyond the arc for him. Bam Adebayo, also a good game, 21 points for him, 10 rebounds. Uh, Caleb Martin, 21 points, including five of six from three. Uh, and then Nikola Jovic had 11 points, Jaime Hawkins had 12 points, and Hayden Heismith had nine points, all three of them hitting three three-pointers apiece. So Miami just was nuclear from beyond the arc. They could not miss. And, you know, that's kind of what it takes to uh, takes to beat the Boston Celtics these days. Um, but then you got to love Jimmy Butler after the game. You know, he's out for the series. He's not playing, but trolling him post, uh, post a clip or a photo, you know, making fun of last year. Jalen Brown, the Celtics were down 0-3, said just don't let us get one. So uh, Jimmy posted, posted the same thing right back to the Celtics. Don't let, don't let the Heat get one. They got one. Um, Jalen Brown, though, actually did have a good game last night. 33 points, 8 rebounds for him. Uh, and then Jason Tatum also had 28 points and 8 rebounds. Um, and Boston actually dominated Miami in the paint, scoring 46-26. But, I mean, when, when you, threes are more than two. So when you're, you're missing or you're hitting threes like that, um, not missing, it's, it's going to be tough to beat. So we'll have to see here. You know, Miami, they even the series at, at one apiece because Boston won game one, 114-94. Um, Boston, they dominated that game. That's why uh, tonight's result was so surprising. Uh, they never trailed, led by as much as 34. Jason Datum had a triple-double on Sundays with 23 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Uh, Derek White also added 20 points, so a big game from him. Um, Porzingis with 18 points, and then both Porzingis and Derek White shot eight of uh, four of eight from beyond the arc. So pretty good games from them. Jalen Brown with 17 points, eight rebounds. Sam Hauser off the bench with 12 points. And uh, four of six from three. Um, Bam with a good good game for the Miami on Sunday, 24 points. And then DeLon right off bench, 17 points, five of five from three. So he couldn't miss, but then tonight all that he could not miss. So it's now 1-1. A little bit shocking. Did not see that coming um, as, as I picked yesterday. I'm still going to go Boston in five. Like I said, it took an amazing shooting game from Miami to win here. I don't think that's going to happen every game. I think the Celtics bounce back. They respond. I still think they win the next three games of this series. Take them down in five. Then moving on to the other one seeds game, the Thunder knock off the Pelicans 124-92. to Oklahoma City shot the ball really well, shooting 59% from the field and 48% from three. They never trailed uh, after the first quarter. Chet Holmgren, 20 points in the first half, 26 as a whole, including seven rebounds. And then Shea Gildas-Alexander, another really good game for him, 33 points. Um, and then uh, Lou Dort went with 15 points, going four or six from three. Uh, and then Jalen Williams, 25 points, five rebounds, seven assists. So a lot, of, a lot of guys all around having really good games for OKC. Um, the Pelicans, they did not shoot the ball particularly well this game. That's kind of what did them in. Uh, Brandon Ingram and Herb Jones both did have 18 points apiece. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas had 19 points. Um, and also, New Orleans just turned the ball over too much. 18 turnovers. Uh, OKC only had nine. So when you're turning the ball over, you're not hitting shots. That's not a recipe to win basketball games. And that's ended up with the Pelicans in tonight. They go down 2-0 because they also lost game one, 94-92. Um, both teams just did not shoot the ball well at all in that game. Uh, 43% from the field for Oklahoma City and 39% for New Orleans, so not a good shooting game. Uh, Shea did have, have uh, you know, he was in his bag per usual. 28 points, including the game-winning floater with 32 seconds to go. Uh, Jalen Williams, once again, added 19 points. And then Chet with a double-double on Sunday with 15 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, and for New Orleans, Trey Murphy scored 21 points, including going 5-12 from 3. 
McCollum, CJ McCollum with 20 points, and Jonas Valanciunas had another game. You know, he's really probably been New Orleans' best player without Zion uh, being in the lineup. He had 13 points and 20 rebounds. So 2-0 in this series. Um, kind of, that, this is one of the one pick I got right yesterday. I had OKC because, like I said, I think New Orleans is going to be a little deflated after, you know, bowling that first game. And I, I feel like I was right with that pick. I think New Orleans, you know, I, I think they win a game at home. Like I said, they were close game one. That, you know, they were right there in it. But I still got I still got OKC winning this series. I'm going to go, honestly, I'm going to go in five games as well there. I think, you know, maybe New Orleans wins game three, but then I could see the Thunder winning game four and game five and uh, wrap it up, making pretty quick work of the eight-seeded Pelicans without Zion Williamson. Like I said, that's, that's really what's kind of doing them in here. When you have your best player not playing after you played 70 games all year, you know, it's going to be tough, tough to win. So now we're starting game threes here on Thursday. Uh, the first one at 7 Eastern on NBA TV. Uh, the Orlando Magic, two and a half point favorites against the Cavaliers. They're currently down 0 2 in the series. And I think they go down 0 3. They have not made shots at all. Um, Paul Boncaro has had, a, has had a nice series, but outside of him, no one else really has, has stepped up for the Magic. Um, you know, they've, they've scored less than 90 points in both these games. So. It's hard for me to then turn around, see, just because, oh, now they're coming home, that they're going to gonna flip the switch. I don't see that happening. So I'm going with the Cavs to go up 3-0, cover that 2.5, and, and win the game outright. Then the 7.30 Eastern on TNT. Uh, Philadelphia, they're 4.5-point favorites at home against the Knicks. Knicks currently up 2-0 in the series. But I, this one, I, th I like it to go 2-1 tonight. Uh, Philly, you know, I think they kind of bounce back. You know, they think they got screwed a little bit in that game on Monday. Think you know maybe a whistle could have gone their way if they're at home. Well, they got to back that up tonight. Now they are at home. They're four and a half point favorites, and I, I like them to take it. You know, because Joel Embiid hasn't looked great, but now he gets an extra rest that he didn't get between game one and two. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if you know the some role players step up for Philadelphia as well. You know, usually in the playoffs, role players play better at home. Knicks had guys like you know Divincenzo play really well. At home, uh, Josh Hart, well, he's not really a role player, but Josh Hart had a really good good games at home. So we'll see if now maybe that Phillies at home, they can get some guys to step up. I think they do. I think they cover that 4.5 tonight and make the series 2-1. And then the final game, 10 Eastern on TNT as well. Denver, they're 1.5 point favorites, up 2 on the series, going to L.A. now. Uh, they won, a game, won on that buzzer beater on Monday night, and I think that kind of just breaks the Lakers. I feel like just we see this every time. The Lakers, LeBron plays well, Anthony Davis plays well. They play a good game as a whole, but they just don't have enough to get it done. So I'm still just going to go Denver. Until Denver loses, I'm I'm just going to keep picking Denver in this series. I think they go up 3-0. Maybe the Lakers, like I said, get a gentleman's sweep, win game four, but probably not. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, if you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on Spotify, rate the show five stars. And yeah, we're going to keep doing these videos a lot. Uh, I think Friday we're going to have kind of a big, like, all-encompassing recap video and kind of weekend preview for both NBA and NHL. NHL, great games tonight. You know, Kings beat the Oilers in overtime. Vegas going up 2-0 on the road. So a lot of great sports going on right now. So if you're enjoying them, keep watching the watching the videos. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. Peace.